Hey everybody, welcome to Theory Thursday. My name is Alex Bourne, and this is lesson number 18. We're talking about repeat signs. <clears throat> so, this is what a repeat sign looks like. Two dots placed on either side of the middle line. And it means go back to the beginning or another repeat sign and play the piece again. So, for example, in this little composition right here, we have a repeat sign and we would go back to the beginning because we don't see any other repeat signs and play it again, okay? So here in this case, we have another repeat sign, okay? So here's, here's the flow. You would start right here, obviously at the beginning, quarter, so it would be like da, 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 rest, da, da, wait, da, da. Da rest, da rest, da rest, da 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 rest. Repeat, da, da. and you go back here. Okay, so um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, so you go back to the repeat signs and go all the way to the end again. Um. So here they're going to give you some uh, blank staffs and a composition here, and you would and you need to write out. You basically need to write out the this composition as if it did not have any repeats. Okay, so in this case, you're going to write these whole these four bars of music twice. Okay, so you got two D's and two B's. Right, D D B B. Half note D, half note D, half note G, right there, so on and so forth, okay? So it's a repeat sign, and you're going to have to write that, write those four bars twice, okay? This is a little bit different. So you have a blank staff and a composition that you need to kind of stretch out. So you have, so let's just do the flow thing again. So this is the flow. You would start here. Da, da, repeat, and then you go back to the other repeat sign. Okay. So second time around, you would skip these notes because you you start at this repeat sign when you hit it the first time around. Okay. So you need to stretch it out and write what what that would look like as if it did not have repeat signs. Same thing here. This is a little bit longer. Sorry, I kind of clipped off the double by line right there. Um, it's going to have a thin line and a thick line. But basically the same thing as the previous two activities, just a longer composition. So um, it's a longer composition and it's, all, it's also kind of backwards. So uh, before, you, before you had a composition with a repeat sign, you need to stretch it out. Now you have a composition without repeat signs and you need to shrink it. So the big thing about repeat signs is it also saves paper. As you probably notice um, if you've done the previous two exercises. So repeat signs kind of save space um, and they're good for that. So let me know if you have any questions. This one's pretty easy. Just make sure you, you know, take it one, one note, one bar at a time. And, uh, Keep track of what you're doing, where you're at.